LA COUNTY COMMISSIONERS ARE CALLING OUT THE CONSTRUCTION COMPANY IN CHARGE OF THE TRENCH THAT COLLAPSED AND KILLED TWO WORKERS MONDAY. ACCIDENTS HAPPEN ON PROJECTS, BUT THAT WAS A DESIGNED ACCIDENT IN MY OPINION. MARCOS SANTEZ LOPEZ AND BRANDON COLBURN WERE BURIED BENEATH MORE THAN 18,000 POUNDS OF DIRT AS THEY WORKED ON UTILITY LINES HERE ALONG BURNT STORE ROAD. NBC2 Samantha Serban is talking with a commissioner who happens to have more than 20 years of experience in the construction world. And Samantha, where does he say things went so wrong? Well, this wasn't Commissioner Bill Truex's construction site, but he says based off his experience, those workers never should have gone into a trench without some type of protection in place to prevent a collapse. You can see now the trench is gone, replaced instead with dirt and crosses. I was sick to my stomach. It's a contractor's worst nightmare, an on-the-job death. In this case, two men died. You know, being in the con construction world and having worked in it most of my life, it makes you very nauseous. Bill Truex wears two hats in Charlotte County, commissioner and contractor. He's feeling the impact of the trench collapse on Monday. This is the type of soil down here that's going to move. It's not, it's not if it's going to move, it is going to move, and to what extent. So you either cut back at an angle uh, to meet the safety requirements or you put in a shore box. OSHA actually requires a protective system for trenches more than five feet deep, saying there needs to be sloping, supports, or a shield to protect employees. There's standard trenching yeah. guidelines OSHA yes. outlines. Yes. You have to follow those or your engineer will design something for you. I mean, it's, yeah. it, it is a tragedy. The recovery efforts took so long because they actually had to create a wooden trench themselves. and. Yeah. You know, otherwise you're putting other people's lives at risk. Putting our rescue people at risk. Truex expects Guyman Construction to face some fines for safety violations. He says utility lines can be tough to work around, but if it were up to him. Uh, if I were working in a trench that was, let's just say it's taller than me, it would not be a good idea for me to jump in it. And uh, I, if I were an employee, I would have refused. We saw OSHA out here yesterday and have been trying to get in contact with them ever since. At this hour, they have not returned any of our calls about this investigation. I'm live in Charlotte County, Samantha Serban, NBC2.